Jen Kearns is a friend. Uh, she's part of the family, political strategist, doing a great job. Jen, welcome back, girl. Hey, How are thank you? you so Getting much. Getting up early in the morning? Of course. I saw always. you walking. You're doing like I'm doing, the walking video things. It's nice. Yes. It just tell them, tell us what you feel and everything, man. You, are you, you know, your 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 take is great, and you you're a young gal that appreciates, I think, uh, what is right in the crazy world of politics. Tomorrow <laughs> must be like Christmas morning for you this with Democrats like debating with Bloomberg, Bowl. man. This Come on. Democratic primary Come on. is the gift that keeps on giving, <laughs> isn't it? And uh, look, uh, this is must be a little bit of a surprise to Mike Bloomberg. Yes. This is good news and bad news for uh -oh. Bloomberg. Here's uh -oh. the bad news. Uh -oh. The bad news is he's getting thrown into this debate tomorrow with 24 hours notice. This is how screwed up the Democratic National Committee yeah, rules yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that Bloomberg is finding out within 24 hours he's going to be on a debate stage in a in a state where he's not even on the ballot for the caucuses. Isn't that bizarre? He's not really on the ballot Wait, no, until I Super Tuesday. Know that. He's not yes. on that ballot in Nevada. What now? No. What? Why not? What do we do? <laughs> because of his strategy to have the Super right. Tuesday Super, strategy right, 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 right. and to go into those states. So he's in a bit of a unique position. He's also in a pickle because he's getting hit from, I predict, the hits are coming from both sides now. So I, I believe that the stop and frisk attack was from Joe Biden because you notice that attack came mm -hmm. down uh, before Biden could even be wheels up out of New Hampshire. Yeah, gotcha. That hit was done to attack Bloomberg to change the story away from Joe Biden having a total flame out in New Hampshire. Uh, but I believe yesterday's attack about the farmers, I believe that came from Trump. Yeah, you, because, oh, you think so. A hundred percent. And I think Trump is playing it smart here. You know, he had the appearance at the Daytona 500. Oh. Oh. He, he is going for those 29 electoral votes in the state of Florida. Don't forget, Florida is a key state. He has a ton of support there, but it, it's always a swing state up for grabs. It is. And you remember election night 2016 when Florida was called. That ended Hillary Clinton's chances of taking the White House. Not, so not Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, or Michigan, you're thinking, huh? They are. They yeah, are. Yeah. Uh, but it's always when Florida gets called, that's it. Everybody knows all bets are off. Yeah. That, that's the true bellwether. By, by the way, yes. objectively, yes. How, how cool was the Air Force One? Buzzing. Amazing. <laughs> Come on, how cool Amazing. was that? And no one's talking about it. And I can see the, the reporters, you know, they're going to go, President Trump. They, they're about to burst. They don't want to give him credit. Well, it was they, the smartest thing, the smartest thing. I mean, to for him to take Air Force One to 800 feet, and you know, I want to hear the conversation. And if I ever have the privilege of talking with President Trump, uh, which we did many times on the show, but yeah. he's been so busy now, and I saw him a couple weeks ago, I want to say, who, you know he set that up. You know he said that. Bu buzz the crowd. And I also bet inside the buzz beast the doing the lap, yeah. you know he was going, go faster, go faster. <laughs> you know he was. I know you think you so. You know, 100%. Because I said, man, when he goes, I know he probably said, because he's such a showman. Yeah. And I love it because it is all a showman. You don't think that they would poise Barack Obama or or, or certainly Ronald Reagan in, in in Nancy Reagan was very savvy at that. Yeah. How to put the, the pose of this great president and President Reagan yep. or or the, the the Barack Obama family that was so beautiful. They they do that. They, this is a showman in Donald Trump. And he yeah. said he must have said, What could this thing do? Meaning the the, the the Air Force One. And the pilot went, you know, Mr. President, we could probably do a roll if we had to because <laughs> you know like, you can can you how low can you go? Eight hundred uh, feet. Thing, the only thing that was missing from the uh -oh. Daytona five hundred B slot was that burnout at the end, you know, the circles yeah. in the grass. But uh, we can't get too cocky. Maybe that'll happen Daytona 500 2021 after the re-election. I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm, and I had my kids there, and they're told, uh, I could tell in school, they just don't want, and it's all bad about Donald Trump. You can't, and I just said this, whether you, no matter what you believe in, this is the greatness of America right there. Yeah. I, it was just it was just positive. Yeah. And it killed them to say something positive. Well, and it showed the ingenuity of America. It showed the combustion engine uh, vehicles. You know, it's just the American <laughs> ingenuity. And, and all the press can talk about is the cost to taxpayers. Well, they weren't that concerned in the Obama administration when Thank Michelle you. Obama Thank was you. taking vacations. Yeah. You know, the final travel tab for the Obama family at the end of his eight years was one hundred million dollars oh, no. in taxpayer no. for travel expenses. Yes, everyone can look she it would, up. She would travel all over, yes. out of the country. And eighty-five million dollars of the hundred million was for Obama and Sasha and Malia to take travel. So, those were trips. 
uh, to Martha's Vineyard to get ice cream cones. Those were uh, Michelle Obama's wow. annual wow. trip to Aspen, Colorado. Not a cheap place and not an easy place to get in and out of. Yeah, um, yeah. You name it, going to Hawaii, yeah. you name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to say that yeah. any first family shouldn't travel. They should. Uh, but it, it's funny when the shoe is on the yeah. other foot, the mainstream media just you know but gets so, their calculator out. Somebody tweeted, it was so funny. They said, taxpayer money? You go, got it. Take, I'll take care of it proudly. We'll Next all send a check-in. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's <laughs> saying that. Yeah. I was so excited. I felt so proud, man. You know, I, and I'm coming out off of a Governor Mike Huckabee show on Trinity Broadcasting Network, and I'm in the audience in Nashville, Tennessee, man, and it's it's America, and I and I and, and I want to get into the other things, but just uh, I, I just love chatting with you about the whole political scene as I do with Frankie Five Burrows and everything. It used to be New York and California running everything. I remember being a snarky Democrat when I was coming up, and I was a blue dog. I was conservative, but still, <laughs> I was a Democrat. Yeah. And I was came out of the comedy clubs, and then I went to Hollywood, and it was like you had to vote Democrat no matter what, like that. Yeah. And and the rest of the country doesn't matter. It was flyover country. Now it's amazing that the narrative of this political, this new political, I think conservatism, I think comes from the Midwest and the South. Yeah. Powerful. And yeah. I said, and I we were talking about that with the governor on the show because yep. I was. Down, again, I did a little show. We we're joking about it. I ended up in Carrollton, Georgia. What right. is Piscopo? And a what am I doing? You know why? Because they watch Fox News. They hear the radio show. All I care about is family, country, and I feel about the United States of America. You know, right. and we believe in God, one right. nation under God. That's the most of America now, and that's the they're driving the political narrative. Am I right? Absolutely. And look, this is where Fox News and talk radio has changed the landscape in America. Yeah, yeah. You used to come home and watch your evening news at five or six o'clock. Now your evening news is Fox News. Now you can get the Joe Piscopo show on your app yeah, online. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's changed the landscape and the silent majority is silent no more. And and some of this is reflecting even in the Democratic primary. And this is why Bernie's going to have a problem. Mike Bloomberg, the whole reason he's making this debate stage tomorrow Tomorrow, is he's actually performing really well in a national poll, but he's performing even better in state by state polls. So speaking of Florida, wow. the St. Pete's poll, which is a big poll in Florida, yeah. has Bloomberg at 27 percent in the field. Moly. In the field. The last time that poll was taken, Joe Biden was the leader. Joe Biden was at only 15 percent. So Bloomberg in a very short period of time, mm -hmm. two weeks mm -hmm. in the time that the Iowa caucus flame out happened. Yeah actually doubled what Joe Biden had. And that shows you the, the power of just getting out there, getting TV ads and talking about And, and you're 835 with Jen Kearns with Piscopo in the Morning. Uh, Jen is a political strategist from California. I don't know how you grew up. In, you grew up in California mostly? I grew up in Oklahoma, but spent the last 15 years of my career in California yeah, doing but, doing conservative politics in a very oh new state. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> so you were with when Governor Schwarzenegger was there. You were there when he Yes. But a huge fan. Huge you know, fan. he seems to be coming to, I saw he did an interview recently, mm -hmm. and I thought he had his, he had new hair, uh, the hair dyed like, like I dyed my hair, tried to dye <laughs> hair, but, but he looked great. I wonder if he's making a foray back into politics. You know, I, I see he and President Trump making up. I see some inroads there. You know, they didn't get along at first. I yeah, think yeah, when you have two yeah. very powerful political yeah, egos, yeah, yeah. It, it's hard for people to get along like that. But uh, Schwarzenegger did come out yesterday and said he appreciated President Trump shining the light on the homeless crisis in Los Angeles and California. A lot of that's Huge. due to the sanctuary Huge. status. Um, and so I think you could see Schwarzenegger and Trump working together there, and that makes me happy. Now, the president's going to Southern California. He's yeah. going, and I'm telling you, he showed up in Jersey. Jen, I was there. I had to go down. I went down. Everybody said, yeah. no, you can't go down. Station's not going down. I went down as a citizen, yeah. and I roamed around, and I got absorbed by the kindness of strangers, yeah. you know, the kindness of conservatives, whatever it was. <laughs> the but they were Jersey people, man, and they mm -hmm. loved to see President Trump. And I'm telling you, people, you're listening, and you don't like the president. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a bit I'm objective observer and I understand the criticisms yeah. will he get the same warm welcome in California you're figuring well <laughs> no, don't get carried away yet. Joe <laughs> we're not quite there yet look I, I think that people in New York and New Jersey are very independent minded yes I think the independent spirit is very strong here yeah a lot of registered independents California is not quite there yet he, he does have a lot of support in places like San Diego Orange County north of LA but he's going right into the belly of the beast Los Angeles yeah. uh, for this fun 
fundraiser. Um, another moderate, by the way, Larry Ellison, coming around on him. So all the moderates, independent thinkers, they like what Trump has done with the economic numbers. And I am told that tomorrow, mm. uh, a couple of my clients are, are involved in this. Um, I'm told tomorrow he's going to be doing something on Sanctuary City, talking about how California should actually lose uh, some of their federal funding, mm. Mm -hmm. which could be tragic for California's budget. And, and Jim, before we let you go uh, quickly, uh, Iowa, uh, the, the fiasco in Iowa, is that going to happen in Nevada? Um, it's possible. Oh, uh, they were mess. planning to mess. use the same app. They're not going to do that. They had to start from scratch yeah. with yeah. less than 10 days to go. So it'll be very interesting to, to see what kind of mess they have in their hands. Great job, Jen. Always yeah. appreciate you Thank being you here. So God much. bless you, girl. Uh, Republican strategist, uh, all-around expert on everything political. Piscopo